Hello and welcome to engineering. So in this course, first of all, we look at doing some physics and some maths so we can apply that to real world problems. We'll also do some electrical engineering and look at circuits at the same time. We're also going to do some third angle orthographic drawings, electrical schematics based around a real world product. We'll do a case study into some manufactured products and processes used to create it. It's very practical, you'll be working in small groups and looking at different job roles within the engineering industry associated with the products that we actually make. We'll do some milling and some machining and some lathe work and we'll also do some 3D printing to create some of these products from your schematics, from your third angle orthographic drawings. We're going to try and build in some visits and some work experience as well. At the same time we'll also be looking at additive manufacturing which is a process also known as 3D printing and we're looking at trying to make something really that's cutting edge. So we'll use um, our third angle orthographics and some drawings as well, and we'll use a product called uh, Fusion 3D, uh, Fusion 360, to try and create 3D graphics, then to go forward onto the printer. Once we can print, decide what we're gonna print in, whether it be plastic, polylactic acid, or other materials such as wood, stone, glass, etc., and we've looked at the properties of those materials in terms of chemical engineering, we'll go ahead and try and make our prosthetic. We'll try and apply that to a real world situation here in St. Helens and actually put the prosthetic into use if we can with a real person. Um, so that then is building on cutting edge technologies. We've got a number of um, 3D printers, we've got five 3D printers all set up for you and we can apply that then to uh, our engineering context of aesthetics. Finally, we're going to try and put everything together. So our work that's been done on materials, our work that's been done on a little bit of computer coding, our work that's also been done on electrical engineering, um, and our drawings, etc. And we're going to actually try and put some electronics into space. This is a project that we've, we've done already. So we put it in, a, in an insulated box and we take it up to 100,000 feet on a balloon, on a helium balloon. It goes up into space and the idea is that we'll GPS track it coming back, GPS track it, locate it, find it, take the data off it, do some telemetry and work out some of the maths behind it and the physics behind it and also get a wonderful video back from it as well. So we'll try and that's our sort of summative project, if you will, to bring everything together at the end. There is an exam element as well. There's an exam based on maths and physics that you need to pass. But then, as I say, there's a lot of coursework and a lot of practical elements to it. Um, and we can see now we're coming back down into Blackburn in this case. Um, it's a little bit sort of look at the drawer as to where it lands, but hopefully we'll track it and get it back. Anyway, a fun, exciting course. We look forward to seeing you in September.